Ah, welcome back my gardening friends. Uh, in a previous video you would have seen me uh, doing the uh, 2017 reveal of the autumn uh, fall leaf mould. That's been stacked in there for a couple of years and you saw it go through my uh, trommel. We've seen all the bits that come out of it and I managed to get three wheelie bins full of uh, material so I'll show you that uh, towards the end of the video and also I need to pot up uh, my broad beans they've chitted nicely and I'm going to use some of the material we got out of the trommel that wasn't quite suitable uh, for leaf mould as such just to use it up and to see how well uh, the broad beans uh, develop in them so behind me is the 2018 leaves that we collected it's coming towards the autumn fall now here in the UK and I need to be able to uh, collect the leaves as and when they fall and get them into this uh, double pallet bin here so I'll get this removed the cardboard and worms that are sitting on top uh, into the compost wormery bin let that rot down in there and then the rest of the other material will go in the end so it'll be a pause and record and you'll see how I get on I've removed the leaves from the top part of the bin now so that they uh, in the middle of uh, the new heap that can sit there for another 12 months. Lovely, lovely baby worms. Best quality urine. Well, that's not all of it. I've tried to uh, mix it up a little bit because it is really uh, compacted well. Lots and lots of uh, baby worms. So that will just settle on its own. I don't want to be trampling it down. All those worms need to find their feet. And as the uh, heap um, lowers, uh, they'll keep, uh, they'll, they'll be happy and uh, stay where they are. Still got more to do, but it's going to be two or three weeks yet before the autumn leaves start to uh, fall so I can collect them so I'm well on my way to uh, getting to a point where I'm ready for it so while I've been sifting through I've pulled a few sticks out but there's uh, there's only a few there compared uh, to what's uh, in this uh, heap uh, this is some of the stuff from out the bottom of the trommel we're using that for the uh, broad beans and uh, we've had such a lot of rain again recently it's just uh, unbelievable it'll be floods again next so you can see where uh, it started off at uh, this time this took a lot of filling and uh, that's what we've got to, to get in there yet and i'm fairly confident it will if it doesn't then i'll know 18 bags is uh, more than enough and the cardboard is there really just to protect um, uh, the worms um, there's absolutely loads I've put most of them that I found in the uh, compost bin they'll be quite uh, happy in there let's move that back else I shall forget and that'll just gently settle down and I can top up uh, uh, as we go now yesterday which was Saturday 
the 12th and it's Sunday the 13th today now I top those right to the top excuse the noise and you can see there's a, a few worms uh, already trying to escape this now I'll leave them to it if they want to fall onto the floor and start composting that by all means now look at them let's bottom back in why do they call them red wrigglers there you go so yeah they uh, they didn't like it in there I'll put them back I found all the gaps look the birds will end up with them and no doubt uh, it'll be the same on the, these two no oh there is there's uh, some piles there but we'll leave them to it this is settling down but bar gum uh, they take some moving just getting on my, treading on my comfrey and there's the other one so I say it's uh, beautiful stuff and uh, I'm looking forward to using that over the next 12 months I think 20 bags was a little bit too much never mind so there's some of the sheets of uh, yeah, the worms they soon disappear they don't hang about long but uh, let's have a look see if they have gone ah there's just a few stopped and this bin's uh, really producing a lot at the moment this is the highlight of the year all the old veggies are going in here and uh, I'm getting absolutely loads of them. Oh, this is overflowing. No, that makes a change. That's where I collect all the, the plant food. I've got absolutely loads to use uh, to rejuvenate the uh, compost. Uh, it's took uh, these a long, long time uh, to chit. Uh, they were in the um, outside greenhouse, but uh, as you can see, there's some gone a little bit mouldy and some have got black ends on the roots, but I shall plant them all if they've uh, got uh, the uh, the chits on them and I've had a look at that with a comp uh, leaf mould and I'm going to use this is the leaf mould that I got um, from last year I'm going to put that into these uh, these pipes now so let's get uh, those filled up and I do fill in between the uh, uh, kitchen rolls as well we use kitchen rolls because these tap roots will get very very long and it won't be long before they're at the bottom and I'd like to plant directly into the ground but the mice will have them away uh, overnight it doesn't matter if I spill this onto the wood chips because eventually even the wood chips will get uh, used around the garden so anything that we uh, drop on them won't hurt at all picking the best for now so tap roots going down and our plants uh, coming up a little bit awkward as long as we don't uh, damage that tap root find the way back up it's a happy medium just getting it right before they uh, they start to uh, drop out they'll settle in look at that that's the tap root before it uh, gets really going soil the uh, leaf mold will fill in around the outside as long as they're facing in the right direction they'll be fine Take those up at the front We'll give them a light watering in, only a light, just to settle the compost around those beans. So, 
I'll finish these off. Well, that's those in. So I've got three rows there of good beans. I only really need um, about uh, 12 uh, to 18. Uh, and then we've got a row at the back with that one that didn't look very good. Even though they've chitted, sometimes they'll still rot off uh, in the cardboard roll. So it's always best to do more than you need. But if I'd have put these in the ground, how long it's took these to chit from the chitting video going back some, you'd have thought they'd have uh, gone. So that's why I like to chit my uh, beans. I could have put them straight in the pots, but again, uh, I've only had one that hasn't really fired, germinated. So those will go back home now into the greenhouse, uh, into the dry and relative uh, warm for now. And they'll get planted out when they're about six inches high. And uh, don't forget, any type of uh, sandwich tray container with a lid, clear lid, is ideal uh, for chitting your seeds and I'll be doing a lot of chitting again this year. Mm -hmm. So just a bit of uh, a look back, all this that come out of uh, the end of the trommel from uh, Saturday's uh, video, previous video, this will be going into the uh, bottom of my uh, new raised beds, I'll probably throw the sticks in as well. And as you can see, it does make rather a lot of mess, but once you've had some rain on it, and I've scraped a little bit up and uh, topped it off with a few more wood chips, you wouldn't have known of it, I'd have even been here. And like I say, this material underneath in two more years time will be excavated and uh, used in and around the allotment. As you can see, this has been moved now, just such a, uh, uh, what's name to uh, get round and uh, this is what uh, composted uh, wood chips look like they're about three three four years old and uh, I was going to sieve them but didn't get time before I let them that was my fault let them get wet but there'll be time uh, hopefully uh, before uh, spring when I start sowing some seeds direct into uh, a seed uh, medium which will be 50% wood chip and 50% leaf mould. Just wanted to show you quickly um, uh, the uh, tomato seed uh, saving that I do. I'll just throw them in. I know some people say I should dry them and everything else but uh, flapping at that. And uh, I noticed that uh, the compost had been scratted about and I thought hey up here we go mice again. So I put this wire on. Now if you can see in the middle of the screen one of the cucumbers that happened when this grid was on so the mouse has got through this now people have told me before when I've covered the carrots up over the winter the mice will get through that now I believe them there's no way they can get underneath here they've actually slipped through that wire so if you're trying to protect something it definitely needs to be smaller than that gauge uh, wire and uh, as you can see, they may have nicked one or two seeds. Everywhere is a complete uh, muddy mess. And I've put some more of my log shavings down there just to make it a, a little bit easier. But uh, I'm pleased with this um, <coughs> slabbed border between me and my plot neighbour. That will help each uh, us both out. He's got somewhere to uh, back on to take this apart now and run it next to the slabs but I'm uh, really itching now to uh, get in this um, the new raised beds in but I think I've got to be patient until everything else is uh, died back happy gardening to you all thank you very much for all the subscriptions comments and uh, shares likes etc and I do appreciate everyone watching my videos from start to finish that helps me out a lot. We'll say goodbye to the dwarf kale. <laughs> Till next time, my friends. Ta for now.